All right, the CR200B attempting another print. Um, just so you can see, I have the fans on, everything's on. And it looks like it's printing fine for, for now. Um, I don't have a good thermometer, but right now, this is just outside, outside, just so you can see. outside temperature. Now we're going to go back here to the sensor. If I could hit it. And you see 103.6 is what this extruder is hitting. And that's with the new added heat sink. And um, let's go in here. Try to just read that up right there. Is 97. And let's see if we could get in between, because there's a gap behind this panel a gap and so it's heating up everything and it doesn't vent anywhere else so we are just left with a lot of heat going towards the extruder but this is only 40 minutes into a print no failure yet, but it will check back in two hours. All right, we're back. Um, I think it's 60 minutes later and it's still printing. Still printing. Looks like a good print. The first print had already failed by now um, let's do some temperature checks okay, that's just because that's the bed but, um, three See the extruder. It's at ninety seven, ninety nine at the the middle end, and the actual. Well, is the frame really one hundred and seven back here? interesting but uh, the heat sink is still on so that's good hopefully this is a good print okay four hours Seven minutes in, the print is coming out nicely, looks good, like filament's still coming out. Check back here, there you see, still Six. 
not that bad, but hopefully that worked. Forgot to show you what the inside this is very high. Inside here is good. So looks like we're gonna have a good print. All right, so we're five hours in to this video. Five hours into this print, and it has failed. The extruder right here has melted the filament. I added this heat sink, but it didn't work. Once it gets going for so long, it just eventually so hot that it starts melting it slowly. I have a picture later on where you can see exactly how it's melting it in like a pulse. And eventually it's just gonna get stripped. But I do solve this problem in the next video with a few more heat sinks and some paper. I'll show you that on the next one though.